All right, then I want to show you the little shutdown procedure for the whole system. So first of all, disconnect the source. As always, no power is coming in anymore to the system. Everything is running from the battery now. And then, well, the easy part is turn off the main switch. Everything turns off. Lights turn off. Everything. That's the off-grid garage now. We are totally off-grid. There's no power anymore here. Nothing. All right. And that's pretty much it. Now everything is isolated. We can safely disconnect the negative and the positive terminal and get these um, baby cables out here and keep going. Oh, this I haven't still haven't fixed this one yet. Whoever said put this battery on wheels, genius, genius. That is so good. It's a stationary mobile battery. Oh, do we fit? Just. It's all right. Here we are. So the original plan was to move the shelf a little bit over, make a gap there, and then have the battery sitting in there. So it's out of the way. Still probably will do this, but I have to have to take everything out of the shelf here everything So I'm just connecting the battery right now here with the thick cables and then I'm flexible anyway Can move it around get everything off and uh, get this done later. I just done There's so much stuff in here focus on this task I had to go back to the house. I forgot to put some heat shrink on the cables and uh, there's no power here anymore Andy, come. Of course you want the battery cable as the first one directly attached to the terminals of the inverter and then have the solar charge controller on top of that. There we go. The studs are a little bit short here on this inverter for two terminals and a washer and a spring washer. Let's see this does not... Why is this not... Why are they so short? This is only uh, about eight millimeters long or so. Ha! Got it. Just. I'm sure, there is like a certain Newton meter setting as well here for this. I think that's it. Yeah, they are not moving. <laughs> wow. Okay, first one in. Nice. All right, and uh, come on. And once we got the second gland here, we just um, have to undo this cable again and uh, push this gland in and we are done. So, yes, that is one. I thought I can get through here with the second one as well, but I think probably not. 
head is very very tight. I'll give it a try. Wow! I I had to undo one of the screws here, holding the uh, the side wall. There, there. Just to push this a little bit away, so I could get the uh, second conduit through this gap. I think once I tighten this one again here, this is like my strain relief here. <laughs> I just uh, thought about it if I need something in here to hold the cables, but I think once I uh, put the screw back in here, that'll be enough. <laughs> Let's squeeze it together here. That was the only option to get the second conduit in here in this tiny gap. Now it worked. Okay, I got it in, I got it in. I need to clean up these ducts here then. Here somewhere. Yeah, I'll clean this up later. Brass. <laughs> Don't you love it? That is tight. Oh, oh, that is a bit too short here. Ah, I have to. That is too short. Ah, oh, no. All right, it's now in. Well, I had to had to make this little bow here now with a cable. Do I still get this plastic off here? This cover. Yeah, I potentially will somehow. Okay, that's one of the many little f**k-ups here in this whole project. Uh. This won't go anywhere. That's a very good strain relief now. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's turn it back on. So this is the easiest way and then wait until the lights come on on the inverter and solar charge controller and then turn the switch. All right, no spark starting up. It should start flashing. There we go. Oh, the lights turn on again. Nice. It's working. With the new cables. <laughs> so much better than 2.5 millimeters. <laughs> All right. Connect the solar. And we are officially online and can close the door for the very first time. I actually had this closed last week. All week. And had the cables just here in a gap coming out there. Well, we talk about the heat in a different video, right? The moment is nice, all working. Fan is on. See, have a look at these um, studs here. I think they're a little bit too short. What do you reckon? It's not filling out the nut. I mean, they're just and I have only the inverter lug and the charge controller lug underneath here, nothing else. So probably it's not designed for that, huh? But otherwise I would have to run the solar charge controller cables all the way down to the battery separately, which doesn't make sense in my eyes. All right, put this one back on, close the lid. Nice. Well, at least we can pull higher loads now. Before it was limited to around 1 kilowatts, 1.1, 1.2. And then the 2.5 millimeter cables, they got so hot, I, I wouldn't go any further. So that was like 20 amps out of the battery. That was all. And while charging during the day as well, sometimes it pushed 25, 26 amps into the battery, cable got really hot. But now everything is cabled with the right diameters. The big cables are in place. Everything is up and running so far. 
and now you can think about um, pushing this uh, this battery here in the gap as I explained at the beginning of this video but for now this is all good now and one of the last and final steps of this whole thing I I know I this this is not as it goes but I need to have more conduit and everything as well here to extend this one a little bit this is all testing guys this is all testing exploration and measurement hear this humming this is only when I have these old fluorescence lights on here in the garage and it hums I think it's a it's an inductive load and that's why we have the humming on there all right tomorrow is the first test i need to do some uh, shredding in the garden just behind the garage we will connect this one with a 25 meter extension cable and go in the back of the garage here and do some mulching with the 2.4 kilowatt shredder running from the inverter and the big battery that'll be interesting right okay until then guys stay charged stay safe and I'll catch you tomorrow in the next one. See you then. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.